Hi. My name is Miguel. Miguel Elliott. And I have a business called Living Earth Structures. It's called that because I build structures, benches and houses and saunas and ovens out of the earth. Just earth. So I'm here in Petaluma, California. This is actually the property that I grew up on. And I've been traveling all over the world, building things out of the earth. And now I'm back in my hometown, back in my roots, and building more. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to be making some adobe bricks, right? And adobe bricks is this, uh, it's a mixture of, of earth and sand and a little straw. And so this earth that I'm using already has some sand in it. So I actually don't need to add very much sand. And, uh, and it's, it's been raining a lot, so the earth is already a bit moist, so I don't have to add very much water either. So I made a few bricks yesterday, and so I'm just going to make a few more today. And uh, so I'm just going to be adding some water here, adding some sand. You usually want about a 70% sand, 30% clay uh, ratio. And uh, so I'll just get in here and mix it on up. So the sand keeps it from cracking. If you make an adobe brick that doesn't have enough sand in it, then it'll crack if, it, if there's too much clay. So it's pretty important to add sand to the mixture. So, and this is really the best way to mix up adobe bricks, I find, is uh, mix it up with your feet, and you can use a little, you know, a, a tool, also a, a hoe. And uh, and so what I'm going to be doing is making bricks that I'll be using to. Um, well, this is what I use to build ovens, and this is what I use to build houses and saunas which you'll be seeing later. And uh, and the great thing about this is that it doesn't cost any money. And, uh, but it's work. And so that's one of the great things about natural building is that it doesn't involve going down to Home Depot and buying cinder blocks using cement that uses a lot of energy in the production and causes a lot of pollution in the production of making cement. And, but you can just work with the materials that you have right on hand. It's a centuries, centuries old building material that they've been doing for a long, long time, especially here in Petaluma. In Petaluma, Petaluma has a very rich heritage, a very rich history of natural building and adobe. General Vallejo built his fortress here in Petaluma back in the 1850s, and it's still standing, doing very well, with very little renovation. And, uh, but that was back in the days when they had a lot of Mexican workers, a lot of Native American workers, they were the ones building most of the adobe bricks. And uh, so really the best way to do it now is to get volunteer help and to get, hmm, kids to do it and people with some time on their hands and to do workshops to do natural building workshops where people can come for a day for a weekend and learn how to make adobe bricks and once you know how to make an adobe brick man the sky's the limit I mean you can build it you can build houses you can build ovens you can build saunas you can build schools you can build hot tubs I've done it built the hot tub and uh, so since we're just doing adobe bricks we actually don't there's enough fiber already in this mix that 
we don't really need to add straw. I'm gonna go ahead and make these adobe bricks without adding straw. You can add straw, but it's not really necessary. You have a choice. I've done, I've done adobe bricks with straw and without. So today I'm gonna do it without. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a little water and I've got these, I made a little wooden mold So I just get the mold a little wet so that the adobe bricks will slide off of them easily. And uh, these molds are easy to build. You know, you can just got some pieces of wood and screw them together. So now I'm gonna grab some of this mud. And the great thing about this is, my gosh, it feels so good on the feet. I feel like I'm getting a foot massage. And I feel like the clay is absorbing toxins. Clay is an absorber of toxins. One of the great things I like about it is I feel like I receive a massage and then when I'm working in the earth, I feel like I'm giving a massage. So it's a nice exchange of, of receiving and giving. So, wow. This is kind of interesting. A little side note here: if you, they're headbutting each other. They're they're good friends. They've been up here in the field, uh, you know, playing together, and I think they're very happy to have some company now. <laughs> but they like to just stand around and watch me as I'm building. And uh, these are their their mounds here that they, they like to climb on. And I'm going to be using this earth. Their, their mountain that they like to play king of the mountain to build my adobe bricks. So it's very regal land I'm using. <laughs> All right, back to brick making. Okay. Okay, so now we're we're back at making our bricks. Let's take this mixture, put it here in the form. Custom made bricks. So you just get these in here and you kind of pack it in to the sides. Some more. Okay, so we're just gonna make one brick here. So I pack the mud in here and I take the bowl that I just kind of lift it up, lift it up, and then I am left with a beautiful adobe brick. So then this will sit out here in the sun for about a week. After three days, I'll turn it around and uh, let it um, dry on the other side. And, um, and so this is what I use to build my structures, right? So now we'll go take a look at some of the structures I built using adobe bricks.